two techs capture CAN bus signal on their Vantage Pro oscilloscopes. The first tech gets a, gets a waveform that is pretty much like a digital square wave, however, with some artifacts. The second tech is getting a signal that resembles nothing like a CAN bus signal as it is described in the book. The question here is, how come the tags got completely different waveforms? Let's take a look at the first waveform. It's almost a digital signal, and the signals mirror each other, so that's good, as expected from a valid can high and can low signals. However, there are some artifacts. To explain those, let's take a look at the user manual for Vantage Pro. On page 8, we will find the sample rate achieved by the scope for sweep times between 100 microseconds and 20, 20 seconds, the scope is collecting 250 points. Our sweep time is 2 milliseconds, so the sample rate is going to be 250 divided by 2 milliseconds, which will give us 125 thousand samples per second. However, the CAN signal is transmitted at 500,000 bits per second. So it's not surprising that some transitions are missed and we will see artifacts appearing at those points. The tech number one is able to conclude that his CAN bus is in good operational state and then can proceed with his diagnosis. Tech number two observes that the signals mirror each other, but there are no digital transitions to be seen in this waveform. Tech number two concludes that his CAN bus is operating correctly because the car works at that moment, but in further diagnosis he can only rely on the signals mirroring each other, but is not able to confirm that the digital transitions happen in the signal. Can we explain the waveform that tech number two got? Pause this video for 10 seconds and look closely at the waveform on the left and the waveform on the right. What do you see? On the right waveform we can see that the signal is almost trying to follow the digital transitions, but something prevents it from following them. Also, at the end of the uh, packet, the signal slowly falls down to the bias voltage. It's almost like it's slowed down. It is sluggish. We can start to suspect that the signal that the tech is observing has gone through some type of filter. And to confirm that, or at least validate that conclusion, we can go and apply a filter mathematically to a digital square wave packet. We will do it in a program called Octave, which uses a MATLAB-like language to do computations and plot graphs. First, we will create a packet with random transitions, bits low and high. We will plot them on a graph like this and confirm that yes, we have a digital square wave. Now, what we are going to do, we are going to apply a filter called exponential moving average with alpha coefficient 0.3. Another thing that we are going to do is we are going to uh, convert those values into integers to respect the vertical resolution achieved by the scope. Now we can plot that signal. What do we see on our plot? 
On the left, we have an original square wave signal. On the right, we have filtered by this filter waveform that looks nothing like a digital square wave. However, if we go and take a look at our original waveforms, figure on a uh, waveform on the left resembles the one that we have originally, and figure on the right corresponds to the waveform on the right. It does look like it's just a filter applied to the proper digital square wave. Now that we have a strong suspicion that filtering has been applied to the waveform on the right, let's think about how this could have happened. There could be some filtering applied to the signal outside of the oscilloscope, or it could be a combination of settings of the oscilloscope itself. If we take a closer look at the channel settings for waveform on the left and waveform on the right, we will soon notice that there are symbols resembling mountain with a line above it for both channels. What could they be? Let's go back to the user manual for the scope and see on page 51 channel settings and indeed the mountain with a line above is the filtering option. So now we are sure that filtering has been applied to this signal right inside the oscilloscope. And this explains why this waveform looks nothing like what we expect from a CAN bus digital signal. You have to know your oscilloscope very well in and out to be able to recognize such situations instead of wondering why your waveform doesn't look like what you expect it to be.